All right, what's going on, everybody? Check this out. If you take a look at my computer, yeah, I just watched that video of Alexandra Wallace. Um, I had a few people actually contact me and um, after watching this video, and they wanted me to share my thoughts on what she said. And if you guys don't know from a distance, uh, I'll put the link somewhere to her video. Um, she was this UCLA girl who went on this, like, I guess, racist or ignorant rant for a good three minutes about Asian people. Now, obviously, I'm Asian, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and discuss this. You know, some of you guys asked me, you know, how do I feel? How angry was I? All that stuff. Look, I watched the video probably two, three times now. Um, honestly, I wasn't angry versus I was more sad. And the reason why I say that is this. For a girl who is at a prestigious university like UCLA, um, for most of you guys who know, and for those who go to UCLA, you know that your demographic there is predominantly Asian to begin with. Uh, I want to say 40%, 50% of the population at UCLA is Asian or Asian American. So I feel bad for her for, for ranting and this getting out. Um, two things. One, um, she either did this as a marketing ploy so people would go on her site or go on her channel, I mean, and, and just... Um, go ahead and, and contact her and get all these views and all these subscribers to hate. Um, if you guys remember Kanye West did that whole Taylor Swift thing and so many people were on top of him and it was such a good marketing ploy and people were just all about Kanye and he just did this crazy thing. Well, that could be a reason why she did this video. Alright, number two. Now, if she didn't do that and it was a little racist, ignorant thing that she did, um, hey, she is entitled to her opinion, let me throw that out there, but at the same time, this is the reason why I feel sad. Number one, she goes to a predominantly Asian school. Cool. Number two, um, after this, she's going to get hated on so much that I don't even know if she can walk around UCLA's campus without someone spotting her and saying something about her and, and, and doing something like throwing something at her. I do not condone any of that stuff whatsoever. People, if you feed into this and you get mad and you do anything to her, you're not helping the cause, right? And here's the other thing. I think it's more ignorant than racist on what she's saying. Obviously, she has Asian friends, as she stated, not to her friends, but just in general. Here, I just want to say to, to Alexandra, look, there's a couple things you can do to not necessarily help the situation, but help yourself out. Number one, for those people who are talking on the phones, or let me reverse that, for all those people who come on the weekends and help their kids out, and you know they, they're, they're not teaching their kids to fend for themselves, look, understand what the culture is about. A lot of these kids, a lot of these Asian youth, Asian American youth, they, they may be the first kid out of their family to go to college, okay? But the thing about Asians are, um, we really focus on education, so a lot of our parents will do everything it can to make our lives easier so we can just study and study and become better and bigger than who they were and the opportunities and all that stuff. I mean, we all understand that, all right? So understand that it could be a cultural thing. Number two, um, for the cell phone thing, please don't tell me just Asian people talk on the phone. Look, you're at UCLA, you're at a predominantly Asian American uh, university. Asian study, Asians go to the library, that's the majority of the people you're going to see. You're telling me that you do not pick up your phone when someone calls you or texts you when you're in the library. If you don't do that, then more power to you. But I think a lot of people pick up their phone and, you know, <clears throat> answer right away or whatnot. Um, so, but I don't disregard. I do agree people should not be talking on the phone, having conversations, but it happens in the library. All right? Here's another thing that can help you out. By understanding the culture, you go to UCLA, you can take so many different classes. Why don't you take an Asian American studies class and really get to know before you rant about so many things and, and you're going off about stuff? I feel really bad for you because you're going to get hated on so much. And I know people are going to know where you live and they know your phone number and all that stuff. So mm, help yourself out by getting to know the culture before you speak about it. And here's another thing. Uh, one of my fraternity brothers actually sent me a link pertaining to the Japan tsunami um, earthquakes and the earthquake that happened and all the things that a lot of people have been posting on Facebook and he asked me for my thoughts about it. It's actually kind of sad. A lot of people have been hating 
have been saying, oh, that's, <clears throat> that's Karma Japan for Pearl Harbor. A lot of people have been posting about that. And look, people, that's history. It's something we're supposed to learn, read, and not replicate again. How would we feel as Americans um, if someone from the Middle East, if something happened in our country, you know, God forbid that we have an earthquake in California and California goes under, or we have another uh, big thing that happens in the Gulf, an oil, or we have like a tornado that goes through the Midwest, or we have a big old hurricane in the in the Florida Southeast area, and, and people in the Middle East or people abroad look at us and like, ah, see, that's what you get for going ahead and uh, you know invading our country and, and taking over our country and, and thinking that you're the superpower. You guys got to understand that a lot of people outside the United States really don't like our politics and don't really like Americans in general. Um, so please, when you post stuff like that, like, oh man, that's what you get Japan for Pearl Harbor and stuff like that. That's just an ignorant thing to say, you know. How would you feel if the tables would turn and something happened to us and people were pointing at us like, see, that's what you get. It's sad, everybody. Look. It's a sad time for Japan. Let's give our thoughts and prayers over there. Let it be. Help out whatever you can. If money, if it's clothes, if it's all that stuff, send it over. Help. Let's think about the human, human uh, mankind, and don't don't think about oh, uh, you know this is karma. This is blah blah. This is blah blah. Let's get past that. All this racist and ignorant crap. Get over it, people. We're here to to help each other out. And on top of that, the last thing I want to say is look, we're here in America. America is built, we have no culture. Our culture is a melting pot of all these different ethnic backgrounds. So if you don't understand that, you really need to get an education. We are built upon all race, all ethnic backgrounds, all cultures, and that is our culture. So when people ask the American culture, what is the American culture? You really got to break down everybody. And if you don't know all the other cultures, you better go ahead and learn, all right? Um, so that's my rant, that's my take. Let me know what you guys think. I feel bad, like I said, for that girl. Oh, my computer went off. But for that girl, and hey, to Alexander Wallace, you're going to have a tough time for the next couple. God, I don't know how when you're going to graduate. But if you ever want to talk, go ahead and holler back at me. If you need a hug, I'll give you a hug too. Um, but I'm not going to feed into that. And I really advise everybody else, don't feed into this stuff. You know, she had her opinion. She said it. Now she's going to get hated on. Don't add to it. You know, it was just an ignorant comment. All right? So let me know your thoughts, your concerns. Hit me up. Gmail, melodicmike at gmail.com, M E L O D I C M I C at gmail.com. Get back at me. Be back in another video soon. Um, but yeah, until then, everybody stay blessed. You know, be together as one. And uh, until next time, take care. Cheers.